guys, Mama Berry Jam here in the Mama Berry Studios. This week I've put together a little Mother's Day gift idea special because in Australia Mother's Day is just around the corner. So those of you who are struggling for some ideas for your mamas, then stay tuned. Now I'm reporting to you today in my doggy paw print dressing gown. Yes, this was a gift from my boy Berries years and years and years ago and I still love to wear it. When the little berries are still quite young, mamas love the home crafted, homemade gifts that come with love. Now my boy berries have made for me over the years beautiful necklaces, beaded choices, usually with a shoelace or a piece of wool, hand rolled out of clay and painted in some sort of paint that does not adhere and rubs off on your clothing or your skin. They've also made beautiful elasticated beaded bracelets that are actually quite challenging to wear, but every time I get it caught on something, it reminds me how much I love them. And as they grew older, they still made me homemade gifts. This classic here is a mixed, what I would call a mixtape in olden days, now a mixed CD probably even unheard of now but anyway back then it was a mixed CD containing all the songs that they thought that their mama might like to hear. Other fetching items of clothing that my boy berries have bought for me as part of the Mother's Day gift giving ritual is this fabulous Snuggie. Now those of you who aren't aware of what a Snuggie is, it's a backwards wearing dressing gown um, you can't actually walk around in it because it will sort of fall off. It's a bit like wearing a surgical gown but in a fleecy version. Now, as the boy berries grow older and they get to school, then they start to attend this wonderful event called the Mother's Day Stall. Now, the Mother's Day Stall involves mamas volunteering their time to craft items for the little berries to buy and give back to their mamas. So, how cool is that? Lots of love going round and round. Items that my boys have bought for me from the Mother's Day store over the years include this beautiful bottle of massage oil, complete with rosebuds inside. This lovely handcrafted trinket box. I may or may not have handcrafted that in volunteering my time for the Mother's Day store. The uh, jelly candle. Um, we burnt the jelly out of that. Uh, it wasn't successful. It just sort of bubbled and melted. And of course, mother's all-time favourite, the cup with the tea bag. As the boy berries got older, their gift selections matured and they began to buy gifts based on what they liked, they thought I would like, or was it what they wanted, they thought I would like, or was that just what they wanted, I'm not quite sure. But I've ended up with some fabulous things anyway. So this little guy, the caterpillar sculpture, we love him. This beautiful glass paperweight. I think they got that because when they leave the doors open, paper blows everywhere, but it's nice. Practical items like the chipper chopper. Now, um, we don't know the chefy name for this, we call it the chipper chopper, but I can tell you it is absolutely lethal and all boys like to get their hands on a dangerous item like this. Regardless, mums love these, great for chopping parsley. And of course, no Mother's Day would be complete without somebody receiving a chocolate fountain. Or a crepe maker. And in recent years, one of the latest additions has been this very beautiful Mario onesie. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I absolutely love this. Look at it. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, regardless of what you choose to buy your mum, this is a message that mums just love whatever you choose for us because you've put a lot of love and attention into selecting that gift. Whether it's for you or for mum, doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. So, enjoy your Mother's Day. Always treat your mum with much kindness. And I'll see you soon. That's right. wrap.